He has only his common sense, his technical knowledge, and his diver's dress to help him. And his common sense will quickly teach him that his dress is his only weapon against the danger he may meet. Against pressure. Which it is locked to the breastplate. In addition to the standard catch, a device to ensure absolute safety is provided. In this case, a gate held by a cotta key. Also in the rear of the helmet are the gooseneck fittings, which are the ports of entry for the air hose and the telephone. The telephone connection is on the diver's left. The air inlet valve, to which the air hose is cut, rubber tubing snappers are put on. The diver is now ready for his helmet. To prevent his falling overboard, one tender places a lifeline about the diver's body under the arm and belays it securely. The other tender grasps the breastplate under the diver's chin to protect it and assists him to the ladder. The diver climbs down the ladder until his head is in a convenient position for putting on the helmet. If this is to be diving from hand pumps, the pump should be started now to be in readiness when needed. If from a power pump, Compressors will have He adjusts his air control valve to maintain the buoyancy of the dress. A turn toward him increases the pressure. A turn away decreases it. More air to me, less air away. More air to me, less air away. The air control valve is, in the actual process of diving, the diver's chief...